everybody. So Naughty Spud here, and uh, Happy New Year's and Happy Holidays. All right, that's the video over. Bye. I kid, I joke. We're back. In all seriousness, uh, Happy New Year's and Happy Holidays to everyone. As you can see, I'm celebrating with my non-alcoholic Welch's white grape sparkling water. Good stuff. Now, last year uh, I had done a year in review sort of thing and I think I like that format so we're gonna run with it again for this year. So this year I'd say that we did pretty good on the channel, you know. Um, nothing crazy happened this year but nothing bad happened either. A lot of turning points for a bunch of stuff and a lot of uh, big milestones that uh, in the future will continue to grow, if you know what I mean. Starting more recently, uh, Ace Episode 5 just came out and I'd like to thank everybody for the reception on that one. Uh, I think Ace Episode 5 is some of, if not, my best work so far. And um, I'm, can, I'm super excited to see uh, where the rest of the series will take us because after this episode, things are starting to get pretty heated, if you know what I mean. So last year is what I like to call the short battle year, and while this year we didn't have as many short battles, I still think that uh, the ones that I did put out this year were really good, or were really well done for my standards. Uh, ones like the Jumbo Gays vs. Megalon and uh, Godzilla vs. Golza and Melba were some of my best. Uh, I think I've done in a long time. The Somebody Spud 5 year anniversary went off without a hitch this year. Uh, three videos and a live stream over the month of August. I think that did pretty well and I think it uh, came out the way that I had intended it to, which is, you know, always the goal. Uh, and I'm glad everybody liked that. Uh, we had a, some humongous changes. We had the profile picture change, which in my five years of being on YouTube has never happened before. Now, last year what I had promised was a lot of uh, new different kinds of videos, but this year, uh, while I had attempted plenty, uh, the only ones that really uh, were different and from the normal content I'd been putting out would have been X-Agent, which was a little bit experimental in a sort, because uh, I've been trying, I've been wanting to dip my toes into uh, live action, more live action tokusatsu stuff, you know, with other people. Um, involved so that was kind of the stepping stone a, a pilot if you will uh, another nickname I have for this year is the year of the reactions I put out a lot of reaction videos uh, this year and I think that in the end they were mostly good ideas uh, some of them had performed a lot better than I had thought they would and some of them performed a lot worse than I thought they would but they won't stop because, I mean, you guys are watching them, so, I mean, I will, and they're not like super hard videos to make, so I'll definitely keep putting those out in the coming years. This year marked my first uh, ever G-Fest that I've attended, and I put out a vlog for that. It's pretty long, but I recommend you all watch it because, honestly, G-Fest was one of the greatest times of my life. I, I don't think, I mean, to this day, I don't think I will ever have a more fun weekend in my entire life than I did there. Just seeing everyone and spending time with everyone and having all these experiences and meeting all these people. Uh, G-Fest was really, was really great and I uh, really all recommend if, even if you know, you aren't engaged with all this tokusatsu stuff, I recommend you watch the video because, you know, it's a, it's a vlog, it's a peek into my life, you know. Uh, speaking of which, I've, want, I've been wanting to do more vlogs. I've been advised not to, you know, because it doesn't mesh well with my normal channel stuff. But I, it depends on what you guys would want to see, because I'd love to make them. Because I think this year, more than others, and hopefully next year, uh, my life will get a little bit more interesting. Because, let's be honest, years before, there wasn't a whole lot going on with me. Oh my god, this is really good. Ah! That's good. That's really good. Wow. I gotta get more of that. 
Godzilla, what do I do? I forgot what I was gonna say. This video is unscripted, Godzilla, please. Help me. Um, it's kind of one last hurrah for this year I think I'll talk about. Just the giant impact that Tokusatsu had on everyone because honestly, I think this is one of the biggest years that Tokusatsu has had in a long time. I think I'll go over an order of uh, what you know came out first. Of course we had uh, Shin Ultraman release in US theaters. Saw it, loved it. I had seen it before, but seeing it on the big screen was such a surreal experience. It was really, it was really, really awesome. On that same note, Shin Kamen Rider also came out, and honestly, I think that is one of my favorite movies of the year, and if not of the year of all time, uh, as a non Kamen Rider fan. In fact, as a Kamen Rider hater, if you will, I do not enjoy Kamen Rider in the slightest. This movie is really captivating, and I recommend it to you all, even if you're not a fan of the genre. Um, I wanted to do a review, but you know, things didn't work out, so I guess I'm going to kind of give a mini review here. Shin Kamen Rider was amazing, uh, just the way it tackles all these characters and all these themes of the original and how it balances everything within the two hour time span, I think it I think it does pretty well for what it was going for. Great movie, I recommend it. While movies like Shin, while movies like Shin Ultraman, you really have to be a fan to understand a lot of the things, this is just a movie where uh, I went in blind because I don't know anything about Kamen Rider and I really enjoyed what I got out of it. Of course, up next we have Ultraman Blazar, the return to form for the Ultra series after the last two shows. Trigger and Decker had uh, crapped the bed, if you will, and Blazer, Blazer cleaned that bed up and uh, made it sparkle. Uh, of course, I'm a little biased because it's Taguchi. And I love Taguchi. I met the guy. I met him three times. He probably thinks I'm a creep. That's how that's that's how much of a fan I am. <laughs> no, but Blazer's great. I uh, I would love to do a review of Blazer next year when the show concludes. Uh, so let me know if you guys would want to watch that. And of course, we got all the Netflix animes like Ultraman season three, Kong Skull Island, and Gamera Rebirth all in the same year. Guess how many of them I watched. That's right, none of them, yay! Uh, I really have been meaning to get around to at least Ultraman season three. Uh, the Kong anime, I don't really care for, even though it has Nicholas Cantu in it, you know, Gumball Watterson. That name's been appearing recently, I wonder what that's from. And then of course the Gamera anime, which uh, I was initially really excited for, but I had friends who had watched the show and they did not think very highly of it. But they said the fights were cool, so uh, I watched all the fights on YouTube. <laughs> and of course, we cannot forget the big mama. Godzilla minus one, baby. This is the theatrical display poster. Don't ask how I got it. I got it in completely legal ways and memes. I have seen the movie three times and I genuinely think it is one of my top five movies of all time. Uh, I recommend it to literally anyone who watches this video who hasn't. I recommend it to all my friends. I recommend it to my family. Uh, I brought my friends to see it and they all liked it too. I brought my father who doesn't, who doesn't care for Godzilla, but he said that this was an amazing movie. So that's how you know it's got the Nathan's dad seal of approval. Uh, I would love to do a review just like Blazar. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. Even though by the time that I make that, the hype would be a little died down. But I still really want to get my thoughts out there because I cannot praise this movie enough. Uh, now just to round everything off, I kind of want to just go through my plans for 2024. Of course, you got the reviews that I'd previously mentioned. Of course, we've got, I'm going to try and knock out the rest of Ace next year. Uh, we're still, I'm still cranking out Godzilla vs. Ghost Godzilla, and that still has uh, the release date of Godzilla Day 2024, so hopefully that works out. Uh, I really want it to work out, because my last uh, Godzilla fan film did not, and I really, really cannot afford to mess this one up, because uh, I have two movies planned after that, and I really hope they work out. 
uh, this this year, I know I said last year I want to try and diversify my content. I really uh, want to diversify my content this year to just vlogs. I want to do I want to do all the things a normal YouTuber does because I'm trying to broaden my horizons. You know, I really work in my niche and I work well in my niche, but I need to learn how to go out of my niche. I am taking a class in school about uh, film and editing and all that stuff, and I've met a lot of people that share that interest, and I would love to get them involved, because, uh, I mean, you know, I'd love to just get all of, uh, a bunch of in real life people involved through um, any means necessary, because having more people enriches the content, if you know what I mean. I can't, I can't just be doing Ace all by myself, you know, acting alongside one of my little plastic figurines. So hopefully, you know, next year I can get a lot of people into, you know, the videos. That's about it. I want to diversify my content next year. I want to put everything out that I've already been planning to put out. I don't have any uh, real, like, plans for short battles next year like I did uh, last year. Um, because, I mean, they just kind of come to me now. Uh, one kind of sad thing is... Um, I'm and I'm right now as we speak I'm in my junior year of high school and I've been told that and I can tell that this will be the most important year and the year I will be the most busy as I will be attempting to get a job and driving and college stuff and school stuff and other stuff and personal real life stuff so I'm, I'm gonna try and work around all that and hopefully get all the content that is necessary out to you guys yeah, no real big changes this year. Just kind of wanted to come on here and show you guys, or tell you guys how this year went in my opinion and what I have planned for next year. And what I have next year, what I have planned for next year, I think you guys will really enjoy if everything comes to fruition. So, uh, yeah. For the third time in this video, Happy New Year and Happy Holidays and I'll see you guys in 2024, baby. Epic transitional, epic walk-off. Gulp. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.